Good morning again. I'm back in the shop working on the 67 Chevelle. Today's project is the rear end. We're going to cut the brackets off. Well, drain the fluid, cut the brackets off, get it all set up to uh, weld on the new brackets. Also, we're going to have to narrow the rear end. So, we're going to drain the fluid. Cut all these brackets off. There won't be anything left on it that was factory. I'm gonna pull the uh, pumpkin out of the inside. Pull all our brakes and everything off because they're getting uh, switched over to disc brakes anyway. And then uh, I'm gonna figure out where and, and how we need to cut the rear end and trim it so it'll fit back there with those big fat tires. So stay tuned and watch the excitement.
Okay, well, I'm done grinding and cutting. As you can see, I was uh, trying to use the cutoff disc at first. It was going to take too long, make a big mess. So I got the torches out. Wheeled her outside, had it off in five minutes. So, but there was still a lot of cleanup, a lot of cutting the rest of the little bits of bracket off and grinding it smooth and polishing up the axle. And here's what we have. Nice and pretty and shiny. Now she's all prepped and ready. Prepped and ready to find out where we have to shorten it and then uh, put on the four link brackets. But you can see the mess that that makes. Nothing that a broom won't handle. See you soon. Hey, good afternoon. We're back in the shop. Today, I'm going to stand the rear end up on the ends, up on it, stand it up vertically on the tire, and I'm going to take a, a measurement using the floor for one end, and then a straight edge on the other end and take a measurement all the way across. So I have an exact measurement of what I'm working with or what I was working with in the past. I know that that tucked up underneath here really nice and had just enough room. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna base it off of that the other thing that I have to consider when doing my measurement is this right here, the thickness of this, because I'm converting it to disc, is 5 16 This thickness is not. It looks roughly like an eighth. So the five sixteenths I have to add to each end, obviously, or take that in consideration for my overall overall length. So I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll be back and after I get all those measurements I'm gonna lay out where I need to cut this, I need to measure in, the, in there as well, and uh, we'll get to it.
Okay, after uh, taking the vertical measurement, I thought that maybe the sidewall, because of the weight of the rear end, may push the sidewall in and not give me an accurate measurement. So that's why I went back to these vertical pieces off the side. And keep in mind when I measured, this is an inch this is an inch wide right here, so I'd subtract an inch. I messed up a little bit before, but anyway, I subtracted an inch from my measurement over here, and uh, came out to 72 and a quarter. So we're good. We have two measurements that say the same thing, and we're going to go with it. So let's get down to measuring the inside of there and then how much I need to cut off here. Okay, uh, it's hot here today. Uh, I've gone up inside, measured from the inside of the rim to the inside of the rim there. Okay. I have 50 and a quarter inches. So now I need to take the wheels back off and measure to the outside, basically to the axle face. Add my remember 5 sixteenths for that over there, the uh, disc brake, and get my measurement for this, and then we'll figure out where we have to cut it. So, more and more measuring. See you in a minute. Okay, when you work by yourself, you have to get creative on measuring things. So here's what I did. Clamp that level to the outside of the hub here. That hub is half an inch. And I want the distance from here, the outside of this, to the other side. So do the same thing over, over here which came out to 60 and 7 eighths minus half an inch and half an inch. So we have 59 and 7 eighths. And what we have to get to is fifty and a quarter plus 5 eighths of an inch for the uh, disc brake thickness. So let me do some more measuring and some more figuring and I'll get back with you. Okay, well, after uh, adding the 5 eighths for the disc brakes, which is wrong, I realized, okay, I needed to s subtract it because I want to be a total of 50 and a quarter. You have to minus, you have to consider the 5 eighths for the disc brakes thickness. So I have to minus, subtract that, and I get 49 and 5 eighths. Needs to be total width from here. To here. That is the distance between, and you can't see it, I'm sure, the inside of that wheel to the inside of that wheel. Should be 49 and 5 eighths to give me this much room under there.
so we're gonna check and double check and then uh, mark this out on the axle and figure out where to cut okay I uh, did a bunch of measuring found out where I needed to be found out how much I needed to take out of the axle tubes that ends up being five inches so I've measured where I need, I need, I measured five inches, okay. Um, this will move to here and weld it together. My brackets will be in this area, roughly. So they won't be right on the weld. Uh, overall length should end up being 49 and 5 eighths once I figure that out, or once it's cut, I'm sorry. So uh, I gotta take the chunk out, the axles, and then we can start cutting. So I'll see you when that happens. Okay, last night uh, I was doing some thinking. Uh, you saw how I tilted the axle up on the ends with the old tires on it and took a measurement and got 72 and a half inches uh, 72 and a quarter inches so anyhow I uh, I got the thinking because I I can't get the measurement on this outside of this tire while these are inside the car because I have a post in the middle of it. So what I did was I happened to find a tube that I had and I'm going to replace this fence post with that tube. What that's going to allow me to do is run a tape measure from here all the way through to the other side and I'll put a straight edge on it and I'll be able to get my measurement. So, apparently from yesterday it was 72 and a quarter inches. I actually cut this post 72 and a half, so that'll give me a little wheat leeway, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I took the measurements before by crawling up inside measured from inside of the, the rim to the other inside of the rim and got it that way. But I, I just want to take one more measurement, verify that outside of 72 and a quarter, and then I'll be much more comfortable and ready to cut the five inches out of this rear end. Because let's face it, I can only do that one time. I, mean, I could I could weld metal back, but you know nobody wants to do that. That's not fun. All right, well, let me tear this thing apart, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I swapped out the two. Like I said, and you know it didn't. It won't support as far as the big tires being tucked. It won't support the old length for some reason. Um, anyway, and it's the same deal. Uh, I, I cut, I cut the tube to. Two and a quarter, like the measurements from here to here, 
with the old tires. So based on what I've got right now, where the tires are tucked, the space that I have, I measure from inside the rim to inside the rim on the other side. It still comes out to be 50 and a quarter on the inside. So based on that, my five inches and five inches should be fine. Uh, it'll still give me a little leeway on each side and I think we'll probably need it. So we're going to go with that. Good morning again. Uh, today we're going to cut the rear end. The day is finally here. And we're going to cut five inches out of that side, five inches out of that side. So stay tuned. Okay, I've got everything cleaned up, ground off, lined up. You can see I've got a uh, line here and here. So I lined that up, make sure everything is back to where it's supposed to be. I tapered my edges. And what I'm gonna do is tack this in four spots, in the top, bottom, both sides. I had to put my brackets on first. 
they're just hanging there. Later on, I'll put the uh, rear end up underneath the car and tack those after I get a zero pinion angle. But for now, we're gonna do some welding. Got things tacked in place. Uh, even mocked up my old axles inside. So when I put this thing up under the car, I can put the wheels on it. So I'm gonna put it under the car so I can set the pinion angle, hook it all up on the four link, and tack my brackets. Then uh, once I do that, I'll pull it back out and I'll weld it out here. So, let's get to moving. 